Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about array lists in Java through the example of driving. So, a fun little fact about me is that I am a horrible driver. <laughs> I've almost crashed my car two times and one of those times was actually while I was taking my driving test and somehow I passed. <laughs> so, so, I was thinking about this the other day, of how I almost crashed my car, <laughs> and I realized that weirdly, it perfectly represents array list. So that's the example that we're going to be using today. But before I get started, what actually is the difference between an array list and an array in Java? Because they're very similar. You know, both of them can contain certain things like strings or ints, and the index within the array or the index in which I contain that element represents its location within the array or the array list. So they're very similar. But um, there is one crucial difference between arrays and array lists. And with arrays, if I create an array of size 10, that size is fixed. I can't add more elements than 10 and I can't delete any elements to make it smaller. With array lists, however, I can do that. I can change the size of my array list. If I have an array list containing 10 elements, I can add more elements or I can delete elements to make it smaller. So it's a very powerful tool in Java. So let's actually get started with our worked example. But before I do any more coding, I just want you guys to realize that over at the top here, um, I've imported array lists. I, unlike with arrays, I can just go ahead and get started with creating my array, I don't have to import anything. Unfortunately, with array list, I do have to have that import statement at the top in order to use it. Otherwise, my computer is going to have no idea what I'm trying to create when I try to create an array list. So that's one of the negatives of an array list. So now let's actually create my array list. So what am I going to do? I'm literally going to say array list just like that. And now I'm going, oops, sorry. I keep doing that. Okay. And now I'm going to have these little caret braces. And within those braces, I'm going to specify the data type in which I'm storing. Because another shared another shared feature of array lists and arrays is that I can only store a specific data type. So I can't have an array containing both strings and ints. I would need two separate arrays. Same exact thing with array list. So in my example over here, I'm going to use strings to represent the color of the cars. I have a purple car, a blue car, and a pink car. Um, so I'm going to use strings, or I'm going to contain strings within my array list. So I'm going to say string. There we go. And now I'm going to specify the name of my array list. So I'm going to call it traffic, because it, there was a lot of traffic that day, guys. <laughs> And now this is where it gets kind of different or a lot different than arrays. So now I'm going to say new array list. And then I'm going to specify the data type that I'm storing again. So one more time, I'm going to say string. And then I'm going to have some closed parentheses at the end. And that's how I create an empty array list straight from the get go. So there is my empty array list called traffic. It's currently storing nothing. So if I were to try and access this array, nothing would happen. Like, no, I'm not going to print anything. Now let's say I actually want to add something into my array list. So I want to add the very first car at the start because the order in which I add it does actually matter. Um, it's going to add it from the top and then it's going to continue inserting things to the back of the list. So the first thing I want to insert is the purple car. So how do I do that? I'm going to call the name of my array list, which is traffic, and then I'm going to use the method add. So this is different than with, um, with arrays because if I wanted to add something to my array, because I'm not really adding it, I'm really just changing the value if I have an empty array, um, I would call its index and then use an equal I would use an equal sign and then set it equal to something. But here I'm calling the method dot add. And within that add, I'm going to say purple. Oops, purple. There we go. Um, and I'm adding it at the first index or the zeroth index. So again, just like with arrays, 
I'm storing it at a certain index starting at zero. Same thing with array list. So the way I want my array list to look like is I want to store the purple car at the zeroth index, the blue car at the first index, and the pink car at the second index, just like that. So let me go ahead and quickly add the other two cars and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just added the other two cars in the first and second index. Um, now let's say I actually want to access something at a certain index. So with an array, I would call the name of my array, I would use the square braces, and then I would call the index at which it's at. But I can't really do that here. I would have to use another method. So I would call traffic and then dot get. And if I want to get the blue car, which is at index one, I would call get and I would say one, just like this. So if I actually run this code, nothing's going to happen because I'm not printing anything. So just to prove that I am in fact going to get the blue car when I call get at one, I'm going to print this statement. So system dot out dot print line. Beautiful. Um, and I'm going to print traffic at the first index. And now let's run this. And there we go. As you can see, it printed the blue car. I could easily do this, you know, if I printed it at the zeroth index. If I print this at the zeroth index and then I run that, I'm going to get the purple car. So this is looking very similar to um, arrays, but just with slightly different alterations. Um, and now let's say I want to print everything in my array list, similarly to how we did that with arrays. So I'm going to use a for loop for that. Um, I'm going to say for int i equals zero. And remember, what I want to do here is I want to start at the first index, the zero index, and I want to cycle through each index. So I'm going to use the variable i to cycle through and represent the indices in which I'm currently at. So I'm going to start at zero, and then I'm going to add one, go to the first index, add another one, go to the second. So as long as i is less than the, and with arrays, I would say the name of the array dot length. Now I'm going to say the name of my array list and call it dot size. And now I'm going to use parentheses because this is a method, which is different than what we did with array. So I'm going to say dot size and then everything else should look very similar. I'm just going to keep in incrementing it. And then I'm going to <clears throat> print. Oops. Everything at the ith index and change this to i. There we go. So now if I actually run this code and I clear this and I run this, you'll see that it prints everything in my lineup of cars. So now let's get into the funny little way that I almost crashed my car. <laughs> so I was at a intersection like this. Let me quickly draw myself in so you can visualize it better. Okay, so that was me. I was at a little T intersection and I was trying to make a right turn um, into the traffic lane. And I, I tried to do it smoothly. You know, I tried to give everybody else the right of the way but unfortunately i i'm only human you know? <laughs> so what i was trying to do is i was trying to make a right turn just like that but what i ended up doing was i ended up cutting off the blue car and taking their spot so <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to try to replicate in my array list. So if I have already added all these elements in my array list and now I'm trying to insert in the middle of the array list, how do I actually do that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call, let me scooch over so I'm not covering the code. So I'm going to use the same method. I'm going to use traffic.add. Now when I actually say what I'm wanting to add, the first thing I'm going to specify is the index at which I want to insert. So 
in this example, what I'm trying to insert in is the first index because I'm coming up ahead of blue. I'm trying to take blue spot so that now I can be the first index. So I'm going to say one and then I'm going to insert myself. So Sophia. There we go, just like that. And then add a semicolon at the end. There we go. So that's what I'm trying to do. And now if I were to run this code again so that I would print out everything in my array list, what we're going to see is the new array list in which I am now part of it. So you can see over here, um, I'm inserting right after purple and in front of blue. So now my index, I would be at index one, assuming I'm now here, I would now be at index one, the blue car would now be at index two, and the pink car would now be at index three. Okay, so the last really cool thing that I can do here is that I can remove certain things within my array list. So if I wanted to, let's say in my example, after I cut the blue car off, the purple car decided that they are going to exit the lane and make a left turn out of the traffic. They just have somewhere to be. So after I inserted myself in front of blue, uh, the purple car is going to remove themselves. So I'm going to call remove and I'm going to call the index at which I'm removing. So the purple car, which is in index zero, is now leaving, so I'm going to remove the object that is in the zeroth index. And if I run this, you'll see that the purple car is no longer in the traffic jam. So that is array lists in Java. I hope you've learned something new. I've hoped you've learned nothing new about driving. Don't take any driving advice from me. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Happy coding.